Merry Christmas, my Mystic Tribe. <clears throat> I wasn't going to hop on here, but I decided, why not? Wish you all a Merry Christmas. And I thought, well, I'm going to do a weekend energy read here. Just to see what's going on this weekend, the weekend after Christmas. I hope all everybody is happy, healthy, doing well, being safe this holiday season. And many, many blessings to you. Okay. And also today is the last day to enter in my year ahead reading giveaway that will be announced the winner will be announced tomorrow and this will be a one-on-one -on -one reading via zoom okay so <clears throat> if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload new videos and so that you don't miss the shout out of the winner and you don't miss any future giveaways. I've got a few planned. So, and share my videos. Tell your friends about it. The more subscribers, the more views I get on my videos, the larger my channel grows, the bigger my giveaways are going to be. I would love to get to a place where I could give $500 away every month, you know, that is a dream of mine to be able to be in a financial position <clears throat> to give like a $500 Amazon gift card or something like that. I'm going to get there this year in 2021. Anyhow, enough of the chit chat. Let's get into the reading. Let's get to energy, overall energy for this weekend. Dear spirit guides, angels, Holy Spirit messages guidance clarity for this weekend please clarity guidance messages for this weekend what is the energy overall energy of the weekend we have teach this is the hierophant card this is learning this is wisdom and the hierophant's also about commitment okay um, it feels like some, there's going to, I get the image, the energy of reflecting on the past year, what lessons we've learned over the past year, and we have sharing love, beautiful energy, three of cups or three of hearts in this deck, beautiful energy. Okay, so we have sharing the love with others and I may be learning how to share love, learning how to open up to love. Okay, I will get into the tarot and then I will do a spread with oracle cards. Okay, the spirit guides, angels, Holy Spirit, messages, guidance, clarity. For this weekend, the weekend after Christmas. Messages, guidance, clarity for this weekend following Christmas. Messages, guidance, and clarity, please, from my mystic tribe and the collective. <clears throat> Energy for this weekend. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Cups. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Eight of Swords. Knight of Rods, Ace 
Ace of Cups. Beautiful. And the Strength card. So we have <clears throat> Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. We have Leo energy here. Six of Swords. Queen of Rods. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Justice card, Libra energy. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius Aquarius Pisces energy. Page of Rods, Aries Leo Sagittarius. A lot of fire energy in this read. Fire is about taking action. It's taking action in <clears throat> passions, ambition, courage, strength. Um, sometimes, in many instances, it's deals, it could be dealing with spirituality as well. And it is, fire is the suit of action. And we have the seven of rods. Okay. What we have here is we have somebody <clears throat> who was fish who is fishing for answers here concerning a person that may have been interfering in a connection in a relationship. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is a home wrecker. I think that this is this is an energy that somebody had been dealing with, and there's been a lot of unanswered questions surrounding this person, this interference. Um, and if somebody is definitely fishing for answers and may even be going on a soul journey, a journey within, they are trying to find answers in order to move past this energy. <clears throat> somebody wants to leave this interference in, behind. Somebody is seeking clarity here. And I do feel that an answer is going to be coming. So you're going to get that answer that you're looking for. And... Um, I think somebody is in a position of moving on and moving past this because they've got their clarity. They've got their answers here. And we have, and, you know, somebody had let this situation keep them trapped mentally. Somebody really could not focus on anything but what was hidden from them. Okay, all the confusion. It's like a confusion and illusion surrounding so, uh, another person. And this is a third party. A third party doesn't have to be a romantic third party. It could be a family member. It could be a friend, a coworker. It could be anybody. But there's definitely some kind of interference here that some a problem person. Some of you it is. It could be romantic because, like I said, the first thing I thought about was the home wrecker. But I think somebody's moving past those problems somebody's moving into calmer waters they're so taking action to release this anxiety that has kept them bound kept you bound for so long and <clears throat> moving forward on the right path so it's like you're evolving your life is evolving your life is moving forward the wheel is finally spinning in your favor and other people might get caught under the wheel but it feels like it's you are spinning upwards because you are taking action to go on the right path and to free yourself from this energy here. Okay. And, and I feel like you are doing this in a loving way. You've learned how to handle things in a loving way. Even if it's a loving way to self. Of self here. And somebody's freeing themselves from this energy. And going into a very strong bond. A very strong new love here. Feel There's passionate messages that are coming towards you from and that is about um that is going to be a very a very strong message of love coming towards you that you know the seven of rods here i'm seeing there is some kind of conflict over there you might have to defend your ground defend your space because i think as you're moving on and new love is coming towards you there is going to be opposition from over here and i think that there is this sense that in a loving way, in a compassionate way, I see <clears throat> saying, you know what, 
I'm not going to fight about this. I am on the right path now. My eyes are opened. I am free. And I am going to do me. Okay? I am going to do what I need to do for myself. I have sacrificed enough for everybody else. It's my turn. And the universe is bringing many blessings to you. And I think that this was a learning experience for you to learn to love yourself. Self-love and self-respect is what I was being told. Okay, we have the Five of Cups with the Seven of Cups. So there is a sense of regret. I think that this person over here, this person from the past, this person that caused trouble, um, even if it's the person, there's somebody that you are definitely leaving behind. You're leaving a whole situation behind. And somebody is definitely regretful for their actions here. And you are, you've done this, and you, you've, you've been illuminated. You were looking for the answers, and the answers were illuminated, shining bright. And it is allowing you to release yourself and going away from something that was very painful. You, this is the ending. The worst is over because you are moving on. You're moving past that, and you are healing. Okay? Temperance, Sagittarian energy here. That's Leo energy, Sagittarian energy. You may have been dealing with a Sagittarius who was a an interference. Um, but Sagittarius brings balance, harmony, and healing. And this is somebody who's proceeding with caution. She's going up those steps very carefully because she's carrying those buckets. She has to be careful to balance those on her shoulders. So I feel like you're going forward very cautiously. But you're moving forward and restoring balance and... I'm being told forgiveness also. We have the six of rods. Somebody's being very successful. Successful in freeing themselves. Judgment <clears throat> with the knight of rods. You know, somebody made the right judgment call and to release an old energy that kept them bound. Um, six of pentacles. Uh, you know, this is the give and take. This is the even exchange. And this is knowing that you're on the right path. And, and this is knowing uh, that you're on the right path of where you need to direct your energies, what you need to give to. Okay. And this is the universe blessing you with what you need. We have the nine of swords with the wheel of fortune. You know, you are releasing this energy and it's, and someone over here from the past is taking this energy on. It's what I'm being told here from spirit that... You know, you are moving on and evolving. And it's leaving somebody else um, crying alligator tears here. Somebody else is going to be sad because they are regretful for losing you. They feel bad about losing you. They feel bad about letting somebody interfere. And they are going to be caught up in their head. But it doesn't matter. You're moving on here. Hierophant, Taurus energy. You could be um, dealing with a Taurus. We got the Hierophant here. So Taurus energy is strong here. But this is also about a commitment. Higher level of commitment here. And I mentioned that in the beginning too. Somebody could be leading to a higher level of commitment. With these two. Be, um, sharing love. Learning to love again. I think somebody is learning to love again. They're having the strength and willpower within them. To accept a new connection. To be open to that. And to heal from the past. Five of Swords with the Strength card. Yeah, it took a lot of strength to get over that. Um, there was a lot of games, a lot of mind games. There was somebody that was had to win at all costs. And they did not care who they took down with them. That was this Queen of Wands, I feel. Had to win at all costs. They didn't care who, who fell, who they hurt. And it took a lot of strength, a lot of perseverance and courage to deal with that. And a lot of courage to put that behind and three of pentacles there was good news coming to you there is a new path that you are going to be on the same page with somebody else with this ace of cups and this hair of a higher level of commitment that there is a lot of togetherness a lot of working together a lot of passion and 
upbeat energy here and you are leaving all this conflict in the dust queen of pentacles because you're coming out on top as the queen of pentacles as being very abundant very self-sufficient the queen of pentacles is also very nurturing very loving she's about love and she's giving birth see her holding her stomach here it's reminding me of, it reminds me this color reminds me so much of the empress energy as well Empress is all the queens combined. But I think in all the queens of this de of the minor arcana, I think she stands on top because she's very motherly, very nurturing. She's giving birth like the Empress. She's very abundant. She knows her value. She knows her worth. She's holding her stomach. It's like she's giving birth to something. So I think out of this conflict, something new is being born. And it is a wonderful energy here. Under the deck, we have the Four of Rods. You're building stability. This is leading to a very stable foundation. You're leaving the conflicts behind, and you're moving forward. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into the Oracle cards for additional messages and guidance. Messages and guidance, clarity for the collective from a mystic tribe for this weekend. Messages and guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity, messages, and guidance for the collective. We have Sacred Earth Mother. That That is that Queen of Pentacles energy, Empress energy here, a message of love. So you're probably going to have, somebody's going to be reaching out to you a message with a message from their heart this weekend. Moonlight. Travel, romance, potential. Wow. Yes, this somebody is going to be speaking from their heart from pure raw emotions. That it and this communication, this connection has so much potential here. This could be a weekend of romance for you. I like that. Weekend of romance. <clears throat> Someone is speaking from their heart. Messages of the heart. Wow. Love that energy. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for the collective. Okay, you got the devil card. Uh, something toxic. That's something that's been holding you back. That is um, negative self-talk. Um, Capricorn energy as well. Um, this is about taking immediate action and avoid temptations and deceit. So, you know, there is somebody that is going to be speaking from their heart um, and that has so much potential here, but you have to be aware of and end something from your past that has been decept deceptive. A deceptive connection, a toxic connection that needs to end. This is about ending it and, and allowing time um to transform this you're going through a transition you leaving something toxic and moving into true love here uh we got fire energy the let go of emotional upheaval and embrace renewal of the present wow wow the cards are talking today aren't they holy spirit is in full force this is christ's birthday and you know somebody's speaking here and i was being drawn to the heart in the hand just now somebody wanting to give you their heart beautiful so it's releasing the toxic energy the toxicity of the past and embracing the new with love passion confidence and courage Hostilities, yeah, you can expect hostilities. I saw that at the end of the spread of the tarot, 
somebody is not going to be happy about your new connection, but it's their problem. They may be strategizing a way to keep you from going to, into this new connection. They may be strategizing to try to come back. Um, but I think your time of indecision is over. There have been a lot of obstacles. Eights are obstacles and blockages. I feel as though that you're at a, you're going, you, uh, you may even be at that place right now. That you might have found yourself undecided here. But I think that the decision is very clear. You, you want love, you want passion, you want stability, you want a higher level of commitment here. And yeah, and that you get. I think you are making the decision to move towards, like, this is a contract, this is an agreement, this is just a scales. Okay, making the right decision for yourself and moving towards true love and not going backwards. The devil card over here says, do not go backwards, right? Clarity, messages, and guidance for the collective, please. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance for the collective. Let, letting go of control issues. Yeah, not letting that person, that person of the past control you anymore. And, you know, this, you have this new romance coming and says to give this new relationship a chance and pay attention to the red flags of the old. So what I'm getting here is um, letting go of control, which is letting that person from the past, don't let them control you anymore. There's been all these red flags and a ton of red flags and it's time to let that go. Embrace this new romance that is bl blooming and give that relationship a chance. Okay, this is the messages I have for you. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and I will see you in the next video. I love you all. Merry Christmas. Blessed be.